Let's talk now about mobile applications. The two basic, of course, operating systems we're interested in, iOS and Android. And let's talk first about doing native development. If you're doing native development, then on iOS, you're normally going to be using Xcode, okay. which means only on the Mac. So you can't do development on Windows or on Linux. And you're gonna be using, so this is the ID, and then the language you're gonna be using is almost certainly Swift, okay. which is an in-house language developed at Apple. You do still have the option of using their older language, Objective-C. If you're doing development on Android, the IDE that you would normally be using is Android Studio, developed by JetBrains. So if you've been using WebStorm, the Android Studio would be quite natural to you. And then the language that you use is one of two. So either use Java or use Kotlin. Kotlin is a language that was developed at JetBrains. It uses the same runtime that Java uses, but it's a simpler and in some ways easier language. It's as powerful, but there's less boilerplate that you need to provide. So if you looked at the simplest Hello World Kotlin program, it's much simpler than the corresponding Java program, which will start out to creating a class, public static void main, and then and all those sorts of things. And of course, when you're developing on iOS or Android, you have access to all of the facilities provided by the underlying OS. And you're gonna have native widgets that you'll use. So Android has some sort of a button, iOS, has some sort of a button, right? They all have ways to lay out views and to have containers. They have widgets for doing tables and all sorts of things like that. So that's native development. It's quite an investment in development. And it's also very hard to do cross-platform. What normally happens is you have a iOS code base and an Android code base. So dealing with your front end. Both can incorporate C slash C++ code, but that's really for your engine itself. So if we're in calculations, any libraries that aren't dealing with the UI, you can be using C or C++ code. So this is some way to capture some commonality. If you've got some local signal processing, for instance, that you're doing on device, then that could be packaged as C, C++ code, and then reused as libraries on both of iOS and Android. So you wouldn't want to write that in Swift or in Kotlin, just shared code. 